well, bodyboarding when I was like five, and then I started showboarding when I was nine, and all my family shared, and I lived in front of pretty good waves in Peru, so that's how I started. I surfed a lot when I was home, started doing some local comps with the boys and just surfing with the boys all the time. And they helped me a lot, you know, they pushed my surfing. And then I went to America to the US Open when I was like, I don't know, like 14. And I just loved how everybody was surfing and I wanted to be there all the time. And um, then I was really lucky to get sponsored by Roxy when I was 16. And, you know, like it was, it was like a dream for me, you know, because they gave me the opportunity of doing tour and being around the best surfers in the world and they sent me in this boat trip with, um, with Lisa Anderson and Veronica Kay when I was like so young and that trip pretty much changed my life you know I knew I wanted to surf like the best that I can and just keep doing it like all my life. You know, in third world countries, it's like, you just have this negativity about everything because it's just hard, you know? Like, it's really hard to get out of there and just, I'm pretty much by myself there. Like, I've grown up, like, not looking at good surfers, like, just surfing by myself and but watching, like, seven surfing videos a day, you know? And that's, that's what has helped me improve. And if I could, like, pick, like, three things that had helped me where I am, like, surfing videos will be the first thing. Like for me, when I was a kid, and like if I would come like to Kelly Slater or Lisa Anderson, and they'll tell me something, I, they would just change my whole life, you know, because I just look up to them so much, you know, and that's what I think sometimes, you know, when some kids come up to me and like ask me for an autograph and ask me how I'm doing, and I try to actually like, you know, give them advice or just talk to them and be super nice, because you know, in a way, it's just like one minute from your time, and it's like they can make their whole year. So that's that's what sometimes people don't realize, but. I do because I remember, you know, when I was young and that it's cool. At first I did like some, like three or four comps a year, like when I was still at school. Because, you know, I had to finish school before actually doing the whole tour. So in 2001, I did the whole tour, full tour, because I just finished school in 2000. And I didn't qualify by one place. And I was devastated. Like, oh, I was so devil. And um, in 2002, I was so amped, and I got second in the QS. And I won my first big contest, which was in Durban. And yeah, I was amped after that, and then 2003, I was my first year in the CT, and I got uh, seventh. And 2004 was my second year, and I was I won the world title, so pretty stoked. <laughs> I just want to like by what I make, like with surfing, I just want to like change a lot of people's minds and just yeah make them feel like uh, think more positive and just go out and change like chase their dreams and just fulfill themselves.